you make what you think other people will like, but first of all, you make something that you like. And I love our wines. I'm the winemaker and one of the founders at Costa Brown Winery. My dad is a craftsman, and I watched him growing up, and he was making these really cool things with his hands. That was inspirational to me, and to want to be able to, to want to try to be a craftsman. And that's how I look at wine, it's, it's, it's a craft. When I was a kid and being around agriculture was really cool. And so I'd, we'd go to wineries and you drive through this vineyard, which was high-end agriculture. And I was really intrigued by that. And I would go into the winery and there was this really cool production area. They were making something. Working in fine restaurants in, in, in Santa Rosa, Sonoma County, I got turned on to wine. Started wor working for Deerfield Ranch Winery, where I worked for eight years, but the first year I was just a volunteer, just learning it, just trying to figure it out. The same, the same year, Dan Costa and myself started saving a little bit of money to buy some grapes. So every night we'd work together, we'd save 10 bucks in tip money. By the end of the year, we got enough money to buy a half ton of fruit, and we made a barrel of wine. And we just happened to live in the Russian River Valley, Garden of Eden, right, Pinot Noir. And we said, why not start a wine business? And so we started doing that. In 2004, Sideways hit, so people were going, oh, Pinot, and we happened to be right there. And the following year, we started getting some traction on the internet, these wine blogs. And then that same year, 2005, the Wine Spectator gave us a big round of scores, but it kept going. The next year it happened again, and the next year, and the thing started just rolling. What I like about the Russian River Valley Pinots, in particular, are the textures, the velvety experience, and the mouthfeel that we get from these wines. And that's what a Russian River Valley Pinot Noir smells like. Like I said, a little baking spice, cherries, raspberries. A little rose petal in there, which is always good. And that luscious, silky mouthfeel. You gotta love it. Cheers. One of my main goals when I started making wine is I wanted to have a wine that was over 90 points in the spectator. It's not easy to achieve that. But we, we achieved it. We got a lot of those. Then it's like, well, top 100 would be cool. And we've got a few of those, right? And then number one wine, I mean, that's ridiculous. How do you ever get that? There's only been 25 or something, or 22, or I don't know how many, since it's only one a year, right? From the Wine Spectator, worldwide. And then last year we got it. It's crazy. A lot of people want to leapfrog or jump ahead. You can't, you have to work hard. And it's a lot of hard work, it still is, you know? But what else are you gonna do in your life? I told myself I was going to give this thing 10 years hard labor. And I thought maybe it would, it would lead to something, but maybe not. But it led to something. Isn't that cool? <laughs>